What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dave and I am a photographer from the Bay Area. Today I wanna to show you how you can greatly improve your film scans, whether they come from a completely professional lab or you scan at home. This trick I'm going to show you will be a game changer for the quality and look of your film scans. And this is true, whether you're shooting on something like a medium format 120, like my Mamiya RB67 here, or you're shooting on something like the Leica M6, it's all irrelevant because you can shoot anything, even a point and shoot, and this process I'm gonna show you will still work. I've got a random selection of film scans here, but we're gonna start with this portrait. This was shot on Kodak Vericolor 3, which expired in the 90s, so it was shot at two stops over to compensate for 20 years of expiration. And if you look at this shot, you'll see that it's fairly faded. And this development and scan was done at one of the nation's leading labs. And I don't wanna say who they are, but you know who you are if you're watching. But check this out, okay? I've got this photo here. It's really great. It's of Amanda and Jen in the Tetons. You can follow them below. And if I go down here to the curve, I can see that the black point is not quite black. The white point is not quite white. I'm gonna go to the RGB channels and watch this. If I take my black point and bring it to where the information is on these channels, or somewhere close to it, look at how much I have already improved this photo in terms of color and contrast. Here's the before, and that's a great scan. Here's the after, and this is a much better starting point for me to be able to come up now and do tweaks. Maybe I wanna lower the contrast. Maybe I want to bring the highlights down, the shadows up, the blacks down, bump the exposure a little bit. And again, here's the before. It's got kind of a greenish overcast to it, and now it's been fixed. And even if I wanted to mess with that white balance a little bit and put some of that yellow back in, I could continue to push this channel a little more if I wanted to, but I mean right there, and just some very quick, easy changes on the curve, we have drastically improved our film scan. This is from that same roll, same lab, same scan. Let's do the same thing here. We're gonna go to the red channel and we're gonna bring our black point over to where the information begins. And in doing so, we've gone from this to this, which is a much better starting point to make some tweaks to get this photo more in the style in which I like to edit. This was developed and scanned by a local lab to me, old shop from like the 80s and 90s, and I don't think they've ever updated their equipment, but this is a horrible scan. Look how green it is. It, this does not look at all like the film stock that I shot. Let's come in here and let's bring the point over to where the red information begins, to where the green information begins, and where the blue information begins. And yes, we have greatly added contrast to this photo, probably more than I would want to do, maybe bring this black point up a little bit. But again, if you're just going off of a scan, I've gone from this, which looks really bad, to this, which is a little bit better of a starting point. And that was all done just by bringing that information from the dark side of the curve up. Here's another one from that same lab I had mentioned before here in my area. Let's go ahead and go to the red channel. Let's bring it up to where the information begins. Same thing, bring it up to where the information begins. And this is barely moving. Okay, but now we've gone from this greenish cast, like look here at the plants, and now they're more black. Here's another photo from the Tetons. I, I love shooting film in the Tetons, if you can't tell. Let's take the same idea, bring the red up a little bit to where the information peaks and begins. Not a long way to go on this one, but this photo has a lot of white in it. So what if we were to do the same thing with the white channel? Let's bring that over. And bring that over. And bring this one over just to where the information begins. And already, look at the difference. 
Yes, it's brighter, but we've gotten rid of that gold cast in the sky and it's much more white now, which is true to this scene. Here's an example of this old, old photo of Jen, but the color cast in this is all wrong. So let's fix it. Let's simply take these points and bring them to where they need to be. And now you can start correcting the color cast just by simply bringing your black point to a new spot on your curve. So right here, I've got too much purple and red in the shadows. So rather than try to tweak that in color grading or anywhere else, I just modified this point here to get it where I want it to be. I'm gonna bring those shadows up, pull that contrast down a little bit, bring those highlights down and bump the overall exposure. And I've been able to go from this weird color shifted photo to this all just by moving the bottom of the curve to a new spot. Now, depending on the lab that you develop in or whether you develop and scan at home, might change up your color cast and as well as like how much you're gonna have to do to this. But we all know that editing film is okay. There's this purest mindset that film should not be edited, but even scanning in whatever scanner you're using is technically editing your film. So it's totally fine to go through and make some tweaks to your own liking. I always do this curve first from my scans to get my starting point. So no matter what lab you're using, this is a good technique. I hope you found this video helpful in how to edit your film scans and this starting point idea. And again, no matter what you're shooting on or what lab you develop in, this can help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.